All right, what is going? What is happening? How is everybody doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, fellas, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be hopping into a top five Vanguard guns you guys should be using. These are gonna be the most meta Vanguard weapons out there in Warzone currently. We have different buffs and nerfs going through, like we have a nerf that's gonna be coming through for the brand, the MP40. I do believe the MP40 is still gonna be fine. Not exactly sure about the brand though, so we have a bunch of stuff that's gonna be coming through. So we're gonna be taking all that into consideration when we are making this top five. If you guys think you enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys go and drop a like next five seconds for some good luck and subscribe. The little Notifications turned on. I'm on the road to 800,000 subscribers. Okay, so the first thing we're taking a look at here is going to be the STG 44. This is going to be probably a top tier meta AR, in my opinion. I will regularly put this on my classes, even though a lot of my classes have to do with Cold War ARs and Modern Warfare ARs right now. I will say the STG is a gun that I will for sure put on my classes. So let's actually get into this here. First thing, the muscle category we're going to throw on is going to be the MX Silencer. We're going to be using this one as opposed to the Mercury Silencer because this decreased our damage range. We're not trying to do that. So the MX is going to be the way to go for this one next up in the barrel section what we're going to do is we're going to throw on the vdd 760 millimeter 05b barrel this is going to make us for a highly accurate and controllable recoil reduce scope sway and gun bob and of course increase that damage range this is going to be a little bit similar to like a task force style barrel this is pretty much what like the equivalent of that is here is going to be this vdd barrel here so i'd highly suggest you guys go ahead and run this one on this gun as this is indeed going to be the best one out there there's kind of really no ifs ands or buts about it this just genuinely is going to be the best one so after that in the underbarrel section though we're going to throw on the m1941 hand stop this is going to help with our recoil control and our accuracy this is really really crucial to be able to actually have better accuracy and better recoil control with this gun because it will bounce around here ever so slightly in the upcoming patch they talked about how they're going to decrease some of the general visual recoil of the vanguard ars so this will only get better here as time goes on so definitely still run the m1941 hand stop so i do believe that's going to be the best one out there after that in the magazine section we're going to go throw on the 8 millimeter Kurs 60 round magazine. This is going to help us with our uh, magazine ammo capacity. I have seen people try to use the Russian short 45 or the 30 round magazine here, but to be honest with you guys, what these do is they basically just make your recoil way too much. It's not really viable and until it gets maybe like some sort of patch update. I would pretty much exclusively run the 8 millimeter Kurs 60 round drum as this is going to be a 60 round magazine. I'm a 60 round mag kind of guy and it's going to make it so that you get, you know, not that much recoil it's not going to like boost your recoil so we definitely don't need to do that here with this gun maybe with an smg it's not that big of a deal but for our ars we do not want to be increasing our recoil now on the ammunition side of things we have a couple different options in here but basically what we're going to be going with here is going to be the lengthened uh ammunition type this is going to help increase our bullet velocity when we increase our bullet velocity that means our shots are going to register faster and when we're trying to use our ar over that medium to longer range increasing our bullet velocity is always a good thing so having the lengthen on there is going to be hugely hugely beneficial and I'd highly suggest you guys go ahead and do that. After that, in the rear grip section, though, we're pretty much just going to use this to kind of help increase our mobility ever so slightly. We want to do that is we're going to throw on the leather grip here for the increased ADS speed and aiming stability. This is pretty much like a two for one here. I mean, aiming stability is always a good thing. Increasing your ADS speed is always a good thing. And it doesn't have any cons, so you really can't complain too much about that. It's got no negative side effects, which is awesome. So that's why we're going to run the leather grip on this. Now into the optic section, we're going to go through on the G16 2.5 times for that increased magnification. This is as close as we're going to get to that three times optic for the Cold War ARs and the Modern Warfare ARs. We have the VLK three times for the Modern Warfare and the Axel Arms three Three times for the cold war now we have the 2.5 times here for this as this is pretty much the closest we're going to get right now unless they somehow start adjusting the different optics which probably they're prone to do at this point because the vanguard weapons are a little bit underutilized in warzone as of right now now in the stock section we have a couple of different options in here but basically we're going to go with the vdd 27 precision this is going to help with our horizontal recoil control and our ads speed this says it's going to negatively impact our hip fire accuracy and our movement speed but that's okay we're not really concerned about hip fire accuracy with an stg we have an smg at close range for that or like a shotgun or if that's you know that's your uh, your vibe but to be honest we don't really care too much about that so the vdd 27 precision is going to be the way to go on this and now down to the perk section we have a couple options in here but personally i like to go with focus this helps decrease our flinch resistance vital can sometimes be a little bit useful but i found focus to be pretty good as well vital i have seen people say it doesn't stack with the damage mag so if you guys are trying that one out to try and get like a bit of a double whammy on there it's not really going to be doing too much so i just recommend to stay with either fo uh, focus or maybe slate of hand or something like that and that's going to be pretty good so i'm going to go with focus here on this one then the perk 2 section we're actually just going to go down here and throw on fully loaded because we don't really have any sort of other things in here that are going to be beneficial unless you for whatever reason want equipment dexterity or something else like that i mean i would just say fully loaded is going to be the best thing in here possible and if you're trying to rank up your gun maybe surplus for kill xp as i know this was a glitch a while back 
where you can get a lot of kill XP and it would rank your guns up incredibly, incredibly quick in Warzone. But this is my full build out here for the STG. Hope you guys do enjoy this one. Definitely a really, really good AR to use out of the Vanguard weapons. Hope you guys enjoy this build. Next up in here is going to be another meta SMG that's pretty much like actually overtaking a lot of different Cold War Modern Warfare SMGs, the MP40. MP40 is just really good, to be honest with you guys, and it's, it pretty much competes and overtakes a lot of different guns right now. So first thing here in the muzzle category, we're going to go down and throw on the recoil booster here to increase its fire rate. I have seen people run the Mercury Silencer or the M1929, but I do believe the recoil booster is going to be the best option in here. After that, in the barrel section, we're going to go throw on the very first barrel here, the Krausnik 317MM04B barrel. This is basically just going to make your gun a little bit more accurate, and it's going to help you out with that recoil ever so slightly. So I would just say, you know, the Krausnik is going to be the way to go. Otherwise, a lot of the barrels on the SMGs don't really do all that much. But for whatever reason, you know, this one is, I guess, the most beneficial out of the rest of them in here, which really aren't all that great. So just run this one if you're going to run any barrel at all. After that, in the underbarrel section, we're going to go throw on the SG-98 Compact. This is going to help with our aim walking movement speed. Though what I will say, though, is that after they kind of nerfed the MP40, I assume they're going to try and mess with the recoil a little bit. You guys should probably run the Carver foregrip here. Is this going to help with your recoil control and hit fire accuracy? So pretty much after the update, when they do some updates, because they're going to try to mess with this gun a little bit, I'd say to put on the Carver, or if you still feel fine running the SG-98, I'd recommend to run the SG-98 instead. Now in the magazine section, uh, we have a couple options in here, but pretty much only one's going to be good, and it's pretty much not the one you're going to be thinking. That's going to be the 7.62 Garenko 45 round mag. This says it has the cons of negative damage, bullet penetration, bullet velocity, and range, but to be honest with you guys, this is going to be the best one out there. Like, it really genuinely is. I've tried all these ones out in here, and I will tell you this right now, between me and all my YouTube friends, all the guys that play Warzone regularly, we've come to the conclusion that the Granko 45 round magazine is the best option you guys have on the MP40. Because you're going to be pairing this down here in the ammunition section with the incendiary rounds. And if these happen to get a little bit nerfed or something like that, I would definitely say to run maybe frangible or something else like that. But for right now, Run the incendiary along with that magazine, and you guys are going to be downing people very, very quickly. It's going to be a little bit nutty. That's just kind of like a bit of a cheese thing here. You know, incendiary is super annoying to get hit with, but they are really, really good. So go and run that. And now in the rear grip section, we're going to increase our mobility here. That's why we're going to go down here and put on the fabric grip here for our ADS speed, our sprint to fire speed, and our hip fire accuracy. Absolutely love the fabric grip on this gun. I think it's fantastic. So I would just recommend to go ahead and run that. Now into the optic section, we really don't have to run an optic. But if you guys do want to run an optic, I'd recommend running the Slate Reflector or the NIDAR Model 47. But for me personally, when I say I'm not going to run an optic, that means I'm going to go down here and I'm going to throw on the Krausnik Iron Sights. And that's just like my go-to right now. I love running the Iron Sights on this gun. And this also does increase my ADS speed. So that's definitely a benefit. The red dot will not decrease your ADS speed or anything. But I will say that, I mean, you know, if you get an increase in ADS speed, it's just only going to help you out. And they're pretty easy to see out of. So I'll just go ahead and run that. Now in the stock section, we're going to go through on the Krausnik 33mm folding. This is going to help increase our sprint to fire speed and our movement speed. If you guys don't want to do that, you can run the remove stock. I ran that for a long time, and I think that's pretty good as well. But both of these options are going to be pretty much equally as good. And I would suggest for you guys to try them out to see what kind of works out for your personal preference. But for me right now, I've been using the Krausnik folding as this uh, is hitting really, really hard for me. Now in the perk section, we have a couple options in here. But for me right now, we're just going to be using steady ADS fire move speed. I absolutely love being able to move around super quick. And this is part of what makes the MP40 really good is its insane movement speed capabilities. So if you can increase that already, having steady is going to be really, really awesome. So go ahead and run that. Now in the perk section here for perk two, we're gonna go throw on quick, which is gonna increase our sprint speed. And that's gonna make you even quicker moving around the map. So you're just gonna be a bit of a speed demon here and you're gonna be able to take people out super fast. I mean, be able to chase people down as well. I mean, you really can't go wrong with this build here on the MP40. This is my full build here. Hope you guys do enjoy this one. This is a top tier meta SMG right now. Absolutely love this thing. Definitely, definitely dry it out. Okay, so now let's take a look at a weapon here that I think a lot of people don't really use right now, but it's really good, and that's the Owen gun. The only downside of this gun here is the magazine that's going to be in your face. It takes up a little bit of the room on your screen, so it's not necessarily the best for that, but it's incredibly good as an SMG. So let's give you guys a build here. Muscle category, first thing. Recoil booster off rip. We got to increase that fire rate. This is just going to be the best option out there, so I'd recommend the recoil booster on this. After that, in the barrel section, we go through on the Hawkinson 305mm precision barrel. This is pretty much the only barrel I recommend running in here. I don't really recommend running the Hawkinson 142mm uh, rapid barrel, 
This does increase your fire rate, but I will say that it's not going to be nearly as beneficial as running the 305. So definitely stick to running the 305. I've tried out both of these things. I've tried, you know, a whole bunch of different combinations out, and I will definitely say the precision here is going to be the best one. After that, in the underbarrel section, we're going to go through on the Mark V Skeletal. This is going to increase our ADS speed. All these other options down here, because I haven't ranked it up, it really doesn't matter because this is going to be the best option right here. I pretty much played public match multiplayer until I got this just so I could, you know, go use it in Warzone to be able to make sure this is the best thing and i will say that the mark v skeletal between this and all the other builds i've taken a look at over on youtube and twitter and stuff like that i will say that this is indeed going to be the best run right here now in the magazine section uh we have a few few different options in here but what i will say is that i mean as much as it may look enticing to run some of these other ones the garenko is once again going to be the best one here this is just such a good magazine 72 round drum magazine a massive massive magazine increases your fire rate and everything your recoil control and accuracy i mean it does decrease your ads speed reload quickness bullet penetration bullet velocity and range but don't worry about that as you're not really going to feel that sort of downside you're only going to really feel the benefits of this magazine and that's coming from personal experience and use of this weapon i dropped like 20 plus kills with it like it's really really good now on the ammunition side of things we're going to throw on the incendiary just because i mean that's you know you know that's just the best thing to run on a lot of these smgs nowadays the incendiary just kind of is what it is until it gets nerfed i mean it's just going to be still really useful and even after it gets nerfed they it's probably still going to be really useful now in the rear grip section we're going to go throw on the fabric grip here for increased ads speed sprint to fire and hip fire accuracy absolutely the, fa the fabric grip on this thing and also a few different other weapons it is just such such a good grip now in the optics section here, this is going to be somewhere you guys can either run the NIDAR Model 47 or the Slight Reflector. I'd recommend one of the two. You can't really get too, too much, you know, um, you know, difference out of, you know, your gun to just in terms of the overall ability to see out of it because the entire right side of your gun has been taken up by that magazine this is kind of the caveat to using this thing it's gonna be really effective but you're gonna lose a bit of, you're gonna lose a bit of visibility so the slate reflector is gonna pretty much be the best you can possibly get out of this weapon so just go ahead and throw in the slate reflector as that's pretty much like the only option you have in terms of you know really close quarters you know clear sights now the stock section we go throw on the remove stock here for the increased movement speed aim down sights speed sprint to fire speed and aim walking movement speed this is a really really good option here i love the remove stock on this gun makes it a little bit better for uh, just those close quarters engagements being super agile super mobile so i definitely recommend that now in the perk section here what i'd recommend to you guys is going to be most likely going to be acrobatic or fleet um it's going to be a personal preference choice for me i ran acrobatic i do believe this is incredibly useful sprinting move speed and movement speed that's always a good thing it helps you just move a little bit faster and then in the perk 2 section what i'm going to say is just to run quick this is going to help increase our sprinting speed so overall i mean this is a really agile build here this has got a 72 round magazine it's going to take you know three four people out sometimes in a single clip which is incredible and uh this is an, a great build here for the owen gun if you guys enjoy this one uh i think you should definitely check this one out seriously like really really check it out all right so let's take a look now at an ar that kind of gets used as a bit of a hybrid right now and that's gonna be the cooper carbine so uh let's hop in this thing first thing muzzle category throw in the mx silencer here because we're not trying to decrease that damage range so the mx silencer is gonna be the way to go after that in the barrel section we're gonna throw on the 22 cooper custom here and this is gonna make this as accurate as it can possibly be i don't really believe any of these other barrels down here are going to be that beneficial especially if you're trying to make this into an ar slash smg hybrid which is kind of what a lot of people use it for it's perfect for rebirth island or even just you know playing on caldera i personally don't play a lot of caldera i stick mainly to rebirth but this works out great on pretty much both of them now in the underbarrel section we're gonna go throw on the carver foregrip here for that recoil control and hip fire accuracy this works out really nicely on this gun so i just recommend to run the carver there's no real reason to run anything else after that in the magazine section we're gonna throw on the nine millimeter 60 round drum this is incredibly good for this weapon i absolutely love this and i definitely have tried out all these other ones but i will say that the 60 round is just kind of like the most meta thing to use right now it's incredibly easy to control boost the fire rate and it's very useful whether you're making this into an smg or if you're putting a scope on this thing to make it more of an ar it just works incredibly well so it's kind of a little bit crazy how this works for both you know smgs and ar versions of this weapon but it actually does so 
now uh, into the ammunition side of things we're going to go throw on what is it either incendiary or you can throw on lengthened it just kind of is a little bit of a personal preference thing for me i mean i'm probably gonna throw on lengthened here because this is gonna be more of an ar build instead of an smg build so lengthened is gonna be the way to go we're gonna throw on the fabric grip here i just couldn't find it there for a second but the fabric grip is gonna be the way to go here to help increase our, our mobility ever so slightly i just like the fabric grip now the optics section we're gonna go throw on what is it the g16 2.5 times this is gonna be the best optic out there for this thing short of let's say the slate reflector once you have these two you really don't have to worry about too many other things i mean there's not really gonna be anything else more beneficial unless you want to try out something else like one of these other crazy options down here but to be honest with you guys the 2.5 times you can't go wrong with it it's incredibly good now in the stock section we have a couple of different options in here but for me what i'm going to go with is the rag doll you can go with that or the cooper 45 rs uh, either of these options are going to be very good but for me i like having a tad bit more mobility this thing doesn't have that much recoil so when it says initial firing recoil you're really not going to notice too much but if you happen to notice it i'd recommend around the cooper 45 rs instead it's just one of those things you have to try out and see what works best for you some attachments work better for others than you know me but for me it works great with the ragdoll skeletal now down is the perk section we're going to go throw on brace here for the initial firing recoil that's pretty much kind of counteracts any of the negative attributes we would have gotten from that stock so that's just kind of why I run that. I actually love brace. I think it's just such a good perk. Now into the perk two, we're gonna go throw on, what is it, fully loaded here because, well, once again, there's not really much you can do here in perk two for a lot of the ARs besides run fully loaded. None of this other stuff here really matters all that much. So this is gonna be my full build here for the Cooper Carbine. Hope you guys do enjoy this one. Um, I like using the Cooper quite a bit. I don't use it as much right now, but it's still unbelievably good. Now this last build here is gonna be a bit of an interesting one because this is gonna be like a hip fire specific build and you're not really gonna be ADSing too much because the hip fire accuracy on this thing is unbelievably crazy. And I'm, I'm telling you guys this right now, like this has like a 1300 round per minute fire rate. It's kind of disgusting. I used it yesterday and I was having a lot of fun with it. It's pretty viable at close range, not as much outside that close range, but if you guys wanna be able to dominate with hip fire in close range, you guys can be able to use this thing. So muscle category, the recoil booster obviously increased that fire rate. In the barrel section, we're gonna throw on the Kolveskia 230 millimeter B03P barrel. That's a heck of a name to be able to say a little bit of a tongue twister, but this just helps out with your hip fire accuracy, hip fire recoil recovery. I mean, just all that stuff increasing your fire rate. Overall, really good. We don't really care about those, you know, recoil control, ADS speed, you know, negative side effects here. We're just only caring about this in specific. Um, now, in the outer barrel section, we're throwing the Carver foregrip here for the recoil control and hip fire accuracy. Of course, trying to boost up our recoil, like our hip fire uh, accuracy and our recoil control as much as possible to be able to make this as easy to manage as we can. Now, in the magazine section, we're actually going to throw on the 762 Garenko 71 Drown Mag. This is basically going to make it so that our fire rate is maxed out at that 1300 rounds per minute, the fastest it possibly can go on this gun. So, I definitely say to go ahead and run this thing as this is going to make this thing shoot incredibly, incredibly fast. Either that or the Nambu, this gets to about 1,200. But I will say that, you know, this is going to be uh, really, really solid. So pretty much one of these one of these two here is going to work out very nicely for you. Of course, in the ammunition, we have to be a little bit scummy. We're going to use the incendiaries as this is pretty much the go-to at close range right now for all the Vanguard SMGs. Like I said, if it gets nerfed, you're going to have to use something else. But incendiaries are still the way to go. I mean, and it's not going to go anywhere. Most likely, it's not like they're going to remove incendiaries. They're still really annoying to get hit by, and you're probably going to be that guy. So... Might as well go ahead and use the incendiaries. Now, in the rear grip section, we are going to be using something here that's going to help out with our just general like mobility and hip fire. What we're going to do here is we're going to throw on the fabric grip here. This is going to increase our hip fire accuracy, sprint to fire speed, and ADS speed. Overall, I mean, you really can't go wrong with this thing. The fabric grip we've used this a couple times already. It's incredibly beneficial, so go ahead and throw that on there. Now, in the optics section, this is where it gets a little bit interesting. So you guys can just use like the you know one of these two iron sights right here and be okay with that. But what I've seen also other people doing is they will throw on this uh the crazy thing here what is it i think it is the i believe it's this right here the three to six times scope and not for the purpose of actually being able to aim in but just basically for the purposes of like increasing your accuracy and that's really about it i mean this helps increase your recoil control so i mean you guys could pretty much throw any one of these like random sights on here to increase your accuracy and stuff like that or you can go in and run the iron sights which will kind of make you more effective at closer range as opposed to running this so if you have to ads you can do it but i wouldn't necessarily recommend adsing a ton i mean this is gonna be one of those guns where you just kind of walk into a room and you like hold down the right trigger and you spray or the you know right mouse if you're on pc so this is gonna be pretty much the options in here like either this iron sight or one of these crazy ass you know actual optics 
Now in the stock section, go throw on the remove stock. I know why I'm losing track of some of these attachments because there's so many of these things. It's almost sometimes a little bit hard to remember exactly what you got on everything, but the remove stock here for that increased hip fire accuracy, movement speed and sprint to fire speed overall is gonna help you guys out with your hip fire and you know being able to be as effective as you can be at close range now down to the perk section what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on tight grip here for the increased accuracy and recoil during sustained fire this is just going to help us out in making sure that our accuracy stays really good when we're just laying down on that trigger laying out that 71 drum magazine this is going to be super beneficial so i'd recommend for you guys to go and run this and then for perk two what we're going to do is we're going to go throw on pretty much quick this is to help increase our sprint speed or you can run fully loaded it's just kind of up to you but i'd recommend to go and run quick and um, this is going to be my full build here for the ppsh a hip fire machine um this is the end of my top five for the vanguard weapons if you guys enjoyed it give it a like subscribe if you are brand new and just run out to a cap don't be randy and i'm out peace